What's up, y'all? As you can see behind me, I'm out here at the range. I've been out here all day long doing some testing and checking out some new tools, having a lot of fun out here. And this one right here is going to be the last one for the day, and it should be a really fun one, if nothing else. So as usual, we got our jelly contraption out here with the Chrono, two blocks of gel. Now, I've done only one test in these blocks, and it's in this far block. This was an AK test. I'll leave a link above if y'all hadn't seen that one. You definitely want to check that out because that's some good stuff right there. But as for this front block, we're pretty clear, all except a little bit of pieces that snuck into it, but we should have plenty of room. Although we working with some big dogs here, so I'm hoping two blocks will be enough to stop these. I'm gonna put some stuff behind it just in case for a safety net. Because like I said, what we working with here are a couple of big dogs. We're putting the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum up against the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So for a 500, we got some precision one loads here. We've got their 350 grain XTP. They're saying 1,725 feet per second from these. So should be a really, really nice round if it performs like it's supposed to. And then for a 460, we've got us some Underwood loads here. Now these are the 300 grain XTP. So both of them XTPs, this one's 300. The 500 Magnum is 350. So these 300 grains, they're Underwood saying 1,750 feet per second at the muzzle. So that's some nice power on that one right there. Both of these should be really, really nice if they perform like they're supposed to and then as you can see what we're running them out of here are two smith and wesson revolvers both of them performance centers with seven and a half inch barrels so same barrel length one of them's a 500 one of them's a 460 but i think no matter what results we get here this one's definitely going to be something to see let me get all this stuff set up and let's check these things out all right y'all let's get us some speeds from these monsters i'm gonna do a three round average on each one we're gonna start with the 460 first hopefully my chrono don't act up with it being late in the day and these big old pills going across there but let's see if we can get us an average good day man 14 look like 1449 on that Fourteen eighty two. And fourteen eighty six. So right much slower than what that box said for sure. Let's go check those out. All right, so our three round average on those 460s was 1,472 feet per second. Honestly, that's a little bit underwhelming for sure for a 460 Magnum, but let me reset this and let's check out the 500. All right, let's check out this big boy 500. I'm kind of expecting similar speeds now after seeing those. Um, they're a heavier projectile, so I don't know. We'll see what happens, y'all. We're going to do a three round average on them. Good day. 1579. Good Lord have mercy. 1616 or something like that. This thing's a monster. Oh, yes. Good day. 1630. Let's go down there and check this data out. All right, that time the three round average for the 500 Magnum is 1,608 feet per second with a 350 grain projectile. And if y'all remember on that 460, it was 1,472. So you talking about 136 feet per second faster from that 500 Magnum. That's a pretty good bit of difference there even with the 50 grain heavier projectile. So I got a feeling this 500 is gonna smack this 460 around, but let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's if you can't run with the big dog, stay on the porch, jelly time. I'm gonna put one of each round into the gel, starting with this 460 Magnum first. Um, like I said, I think we're gonna be able to catch these in two blocks of gel, but I've got a piece of a block and a couple of towels behind it just in case. I got a feeling this jelly's definitely gonna jump. All right, hopefully that stayed in there. Let me go check that out. All right, y'all, we actually did catch that one, but barely. And I'm telling you, there's some massive damage that thing put in those blocks down there. That's actually insane, y'all. So let's try this 500. I'll be honest with you, I'm starting, I'm changing my opinion on this one. I think this is gonna go through both blocks. I really do, but hopefully it won't. Hopefully we can catch it. If not, we might take another one. I really wanna catch one of these. Let's see what this crazy thing will do, y'all. 
good time of day. I mean, it just took everything out. Let's go down and check that mess out. All right, y'all, I almost don't even know what to say about what we got down here. We actually did catch that 500. I was way off on that 500. It stopped short of the 460, which I should have known better. I've tested enough to know that with that high velocity, it was going to expand it more and slow it on down. But anyway, let's look at what we got down here. I got y'all a pretty good view. I had to move you back because as you can see, it's a huge penetration on this thing. At the top, that's our 460. Came in just massive damage right there. Huge amount of damage damage crazy disruption it did start losing looks like a little bit of copper and a little bit of lead a couple little specks along the way but nice spiraling action into the second block keeps on trucking drops a little more material and it's sitting down here not quite all the way backwards but close and some very very nice expansion on that thing and in the 500 basically the same story comes in here just huge huge wound channel massive amount of disruption also starts losing some material here looks like some copper and a little bit of lead there i can see goes into the second block and it stopped right here if y'all can see that there i'll give you some closer looks but stop right there and it looks like also it's expanded it's hard to see but it may not be uh, yeah it, it is it's got some massive expansion actually i think but as far as your penetration this 460 is all the way out here to 29 inches your 500 is out here at 23 and a half inches so just crazy crazy penetration on both of those here's your overhead look that's your 460 that's your 500 you can see definitely lost some material lead and copper both of them looks like they lost some lead and some copper into the second block there's your 500 stop down there and then back over here there's your 460 i mean we just did catch that thing all right, y'all, let's check out these projectiles. You talking about some massive hunks of lead right here. This is the 460, this is the 500. Look at this 500. This 500 expanded so much that the pedals of the jacket literally peel back across and covered the bottom the base of the projectile look at that i mean that is some power right there this thing this thing delivered over a ton of energy over 2,000 foot pounds of energy that's just massive right there now the 460 was no slouch either as you can see crazy expansion on that one too lost quite a bit of material now obviously not near the expansion of this 500 but still crazy devastation but let's get some weights on them and see what we did actually lose so this 460 started at 300 and it's at 275.6 so quite a bit of loss on that one the 500 started at 350 it's at 311.8 so a good bit of loss on that one also now as far as the expansion we'll start with the 460 we got 578 628 and 608 so nice expansion on that one and then for this big old 500 here you got 759 749 and 782 so some absolutely massive expansion on that thing and there you have it y'all the 460 versus 500 smith and wesson magnum these are two absolute beast powerhouses of rounds here either one of these i mean <laughs> it goes without saying whatever the job might be either one of these would get that job done period point blank i don't think there's much of any job that couldn't get taken care of with one of these rounds as far as hunting uh, anything you really need to do with these rounds you could probably get it done you're talking about like i said 2,000 foot pounds of energy here and just shy of 1500 here so uh, that that's just a massive energy just massive crazy energy from both of these rounds all right, y'all, that right there is going to do it for the 460 versus 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, or what I like to call the Wombo Combo. There's almost really no words needed for what we saw out of both of these rounds here today. I mean, just devastating power, expansion, uh, penetration, just all over, just crazy good performance out of both of these. I know I made the comment that the speed was kind of underwhelming on that 460, and honestly, I still kind of feel that way. I'd like to see a little more speed out of that, but even still, almost 1,500 foot 
pounds of energy and just crazy good performance. But y'all let me know what you think about what you saw here today. Do some of y'all out there have this 460 or 500? And if you do, what do you use it for? Hunting, just range fun? Let me know down in the comments what you think about them. If you did enjoy this video, reach down and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when I upload new stuff. Y'all make sure to take a second if you would and check out my affiliate links in the video description. If you shop through Amazon, hit that Amazon storefront link up. You go straight through there like normal and anything you buy anywhere on Amazon after that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. As always, I appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel. The sun's going down out here. It's starting to get chilly, so I'm going to wrap it up right there. I got a bunch of good stuff headed y'all's way, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.